Yo, what's up, everybody? A super fly fat guy, eight five nine, coming at you again. All right, guys, I got a little review for some stuff that um, I wasn't, I didn't plan on do, doing a review on it, but um, recently watching Jano Zero's uh, videos, he's got a couple videos recently on um, some like, <clears throat> I guess it's like a dry skin kind of like condition or whatever that he's got on his arms um and he had he had some people offer some uh remedies and although i don't have a whole lot of knowledge with with any kind of home remedies or anything like that when when i got something wrong with me i asked grandma because usually she's the one that knows all the home remedies but i did want to offer some information on some stuff uh, that I've been using actually in the past couple weeks, and it's it's just kind of ironic that uh, right around the same time, you know, he he's thrown out in his videos that um, you know he's working with a, a condition, I guess, similar, but it looks like his is a little bit worse. But um, anyway, I don't know if it's called eczema or uh, psoriasis. I don't know what it's called because I've never been to like a dermatologist or anything, so I don't know. I haven't had this all my life, um, but just in the past four or five years or so, my head gets really, really dry, and I get like this dandruff, right? And then it it, it gets really bad in the summertime because I'm sweating and stuff. Um, but then it starts to itch, and then you know, I, you know, I'm scratching it, and uh, I end up having like big red marks all over my head and everything and you can you can kind of see a couple little red spots um on my head still anyway i i don't know what I, I don't know what it is um it's really embarrassing <laughs> because when it gets bad it looks it looks terrible i mean it looks like i have like continent like the shapes of continents and shit all over my head and like red blotches and just in the past um couple years two or three years that i've been growing a full beard um it's getting you can't see it well you can probably see the red the redness under the beard a little bit but anyway it's starting to get under my beard um and it, it like my dad i mean okay i guess i'm i guess i'm wrong because it i had i have had it uh in the past when i was younger uh but everybody always told me it was heat uh, that's just what everybody referred to as it. Oh, that's heat. You're, you're hot and you're sweaty. That's heat. Um, and like, you know, I would buzz my head and shit to like get, cause I, I didn't always, you know, I didn't always have a bald head. <laughs> so, you know, I'd have a head full of hair and I'd be like all hot and sweaty and stuff under there and it'd be itchy and, and I'd shave it off and it'd be done with it. And, um, I don't know. Anyway, it's gotten it's gotten worse recently. So here we are, three minutes into the review, and um, I'm gonna do a review on Grandpa's Pine Tar shampoo. And uh, I've already taken some pictures, but I guess I don't have to really re reel those in because my um, camera's doing better than I thought it would. So there's what it is. Helps remove flakes of dandruff, whatever that word is, and psoriasis. And then if you want to know the ingredients, pause that. I'll still throw the pictures in now. <laughs> so, I mean, you guys can go ahead and look at those if you want. Um, I took the pictures and might as well put them in there. But anyway, I've been using this for about two weeks now, and I've actually only used, and I don't, I don't know if it's going to show exactly how much I've used or not. I don't have my flashlight sitting here, so that's great. But I've, I've, I'm, I'm literally down to like, you know, I've only used it about here, and, and you're looking at, let's see. Anyway, I've used it for about two weeks. And I've used next to none because it, it it's very it's I almost want to say it's like watery, but it I don't know, but it lathers up really really well. But I use a very small like just dot of it in my hand in the shower, lather it up real good, and I use it on my head and my beard. And I've seen significant difference in my beard. My beard is really like 
I don't know. It's like it's way softer and not as brittle as it was before. And um, I've really seen a difference, like in my in in my scalp situation here. And uh, the dandruff has cut down quite a bit just in the last couple of weeks. Now, this this will probably last me for six or eight months. And I mean, it's only um, it's only eight ounces. Uh, I wish this would just work. There we go. So it's eight ounces, and um, it's awesome. I don't know how to explain it anything better than that. I, I'm I'm loving this stuff, believe it or not. Now there's one drawback, and the, it's basically the sole reason why. I'm, well, not the sole reason. I want to shout out Jane on Zero and tell him, brother, they make a soap of this too. It's like a bar of soap. It's kind of expensive though. It's like four four bucks or something like that. Four or five dollars. Um, but it's a, like a big ass bar of soap. And you use it in the shower. Now, I guess you could use this, and it would probably do the same thing. I don't know. Um, but this this right here was about 10 bucks, And it's only 8 ounces. I, I paid almost $10 for it, free shipping from uh, eBay, I think. I'm not 100% I'm not sure, but I think it was eBay. And like I said, I'm only down to, like, here... Um, you know, after two weeks. So, I mean, I, I think this will probably last me six or eight months. But the one drawback to this is that it does not smell good. Um, I should have rethought the pine tar name <laughs> when I, you know, because I, like, I read reviews and was like, oh, it's a manly smell and blah, blah, blah. So, I'm like, cool, whatever. I'm not going to smell crazy. Well, it does smell crazy. It smells like, oh, uh, Oh man, that's it, it's a mixture between a campfire, like a roaring campfire, licorice, and like all the stuff that just doesn't smell great. A campfire, licorice, and like uh, asphalt <laughs> or something. It's like those three smells together. It's not. It's not, if you want to smell like a straight lumberjack, like you're like, I want to smell badass like a lumberjack, this is your shit. This is for you. If you want to smell like a lumberjack, this is for you. But yeah, pine tar, I mean, it literally smells like pine tar. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, duh. Um, but yeah, uh, basically this is a review, but it's also a shout out to J Null Zero and brother... Go go get you some of this. Hopefully it works. Um, but I, you know, I'm not going to guarantee anything, of course, because I didn't make it. <laughs> but but it's it's worked for me in the past couple of weeks, man. And if it if it helps at all, that'll be fantastic. But you said you had something that was working, so I hope it works permanently for you, man. Because um, you know, I got a little bit here on my hand, just a couple little spots on my hand, and then on my head. And I know how irritating this is. So I can only imagine like what you're going through, bro. So uh, you know, I hope this shit works for you, man. Whatever, whatever it is that I forgot who you said offered it up, but whatever it is that you're um, you're using, I hope it works for you, man. But if not, uh, give this a give this a whirl. Grandpa's pine tar. Like I said, this is shampoo, but they have it in bar form as well. So that's pretty much it, guys. I rambled basically for eight and a half minutes. I could have did this in a minute and just told you, oh, this is great stuff. <laughs> All right, guys. Take her easy.